Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. This is a big collaboration video for our fall favourites. So this is organised by Walker at Olive Ave Nails and I'll put everybody's links down below. I think everybody's publishing their favourite fall collab videos today. So please check out everyone's videos, they'll be linked down below. So for my video I decided to pick 10 polishes, so they're all seasonal favourites. In fact, most of them, if you are familiar with my channel, you'll probably be familiar with the majority of these picks. Only two of them actually are recent new buys. I do have swatch pictures for most of the polishes. Before I start on my nails is the beautiful Arda's Nails. Stephanie is a weirdo and this is a new polish to the individuals collection and this was in collaboration with Steffi Claus. So Steffi, if you're watching, absolutely fantastic job. I love this colour and it's got a really pretty blue shimmer in there. So that's Stephanie is a weirdo. So a typical autumn shade and I am a seasonal nail polish wearer is this beautiful burnt orange. Now you will have seen this polish in my recent autumn de-stash of my dark orange polishes and this is Mesmerous Lacquer Conkers. It's a fantastic polish. It's very similar to Essie Playing Koi. It's a little bit darker and the best thing about this is the formula. It's a one coater. So that's the fabulous Conkers from Mesmerous Nail Lacquer. And then I decided I needed an autumn red this year. So I'm going to go with this fantastic linear holographic. This is a slightly kind of smoky orange leaning red and it's called I'm the Devil Who's Asking and this was from the Bad Boys 2 collection I think. So you know I like my pretty ugly shades and this is the fantastic sickening from Princess Nail Lacquer. I do have this in a mini but George knows that I love these types of ugly pretty green shades and um, she sent this over to me recently. Thank you again so much George. This is the amazing Princess Nail Lacquer sickening and it's from the Fugly Trio. Again, amazing one coat formula. I think this time of the year everybody is looking for that holy grail autumn in a bottle and this is it for me. This is the absolutely fantastic Wind Your Neck In and it's from the South London Trio. I love multi-chromes this time of the year so it's just got everything in here. There's a gold, a red, a green... Um, and that beautiful bronzy, orangey shade. Um, there is, it, I know that there was an expensive pigment that was used for this trio because they were slightly more expensive, but yeah, I absolutely love this shade. So that's Wind Your Neck In from the South London Trio. So the rest of the polishes that I've got to show you here are mainstream polishes. This one is a Barry M. I felt as though I needed to include a pink. This is more of a purpley pink. This is Holographic Rocket and it's one of the molten metals. Um, I have worn this. I can't for the life of me find a swatch picture of it. But that's it on the swatch wheel. I do love dusty polishes. And this is a beautiful dusty holographic pinky purple. So that's Holographic Rocket from Barry M. And then I've got a couple of Essies here. In fact, I've got another Essie before I get to the end of the video. So uh, very much an Essie autumn for me. Um, this one here is Cliffhanger and it's a new polish. I've not worn this one yet. It's from the Rocky Rose collection. And I loved all of the neutral shades in this collection. And up to now, the creams have been absolutely fantastic. So that's Cliffhanger. Definitely looking forward to wearing this this autumn. And then the Geodes collection. So this came out quite recently. 
I managed to pick up two of them while I was over in Switzerland and this one is Stop, Look and Glisten. I did manage to swatch this and I am looking forward to wearing it again properly in a, a full manicure all day. Um, but yeah, the holographic in these formulas is just amazing and I think this is probably one of the strongest ones. So that's Stop, Look and Glisten from the SE Geodes collection. Next, I decided that I wanted to wear these teal kind of shades. So I picked a darker teal shade and this one here could have done with another coat. Actually, this is a an older polish. Um, I do like these smoky grey greens as well in the autumn. So this one here is China Glaze Baroque Jungle. And this has got a very delicate shimmer. It's a real glowy polish, but it's a kind of green leaning dark teal. Absolutely beautiful. And you can get this opaque in one coat. And then I've decided to give a little bit of love to a very old polish. This has been in my collection, it needs a good shake up um, for probably about four or five years now. And this is Vested Interest from Essie and it is, a, I love this shade, it is a very autumnal grey green so that's vested interest and finally I needed a blue, a dark navy blue, I am going through my navy blue dark autumnal polishes at the moment this one does have a very subtle shimmer and everyone was going crazy over this a couple of years ago so I thought I'd pull this out Show it a bit of love. This is Turn On The Northern Lights from OPI. So those are my top 10 picks for autumn or fall. Let me know what your top picks are going to be for this season. Are you a seasonal wearer? And don't forget to check out everybody else's videos down below in the collaboration. Thanks again, Walker, for inviting me. And... I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.